to maybe maybe I should have let uh a teleporter. I didn't talk to the children. They were sleeping. Sabota. Wow, you arrived from out of town. I was just pretending to be a horse. A horse? Why? What? Don't you know about horsey fatback? You don't have one where you're from? Oh, <laughs> there's this really big horse thing that walks around outside the village. Like stomp stomp. If you get close to him, he goes kaboom and bzz. it's really exciting. But I think Horsey Fatback is actually good. He's only in a bad mood because everyone keeps saying he's bad. Hey lady, be sure to buy a lot of stuff, okay? I really recommend shock arrows. If you shoot them or something, bzz. They zap. Uh, there's another key here. A friend advice, Savota. Sorry, but I can't play with you right now, lady. What are you doing? I'm pretending to be Lady Urbosa. Lady Urbosa was an amazing person who was born long ago, a long, long time before I was. Uh, she was a champion who saved this town from an evil ghost. I'm going to I'm going on patrols every day to make sure that no more bad monsters show up. Uh, I remember the star from Age of Calamity, but I think But I don't think the evil ghost she's saying she's mentioning will be the Eagle. Sabota relationship class in the afternoon and the cooking class at night and then all the studying too I'm so tired please could you talk with someone else okay. I didn't see her as well mm. two shrooms are great but the nights here are so cold maybe I should get some some shrooms instead and this one what the what Mrs. Shy class on relationships about to start Oh, are you interested in taking Miss uh, Miss Shai's class? I imagine a foreign guy like you could learn something new. Yes, I am. Okay. Miss Shai teaches a class on the ins and outs of relationships in the world beyond Gerudo Town. She teaches a cooking class too. Also, pretty important for surviving. To be honest, I wasn't going to take them, but my Baba was nagging me. Studying day and night is utterly ridiculous, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I'm gonna. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the Divine Beast already. Oh, she's in here. Oh. Hi. We're looking for Lady Regis. She's on the second floor. Normally, people are allowed into the, her sleeping quarter, quarters, but she has given you permission, it seems. Oh. Be on your best manners. If she deems you to be a disturbance to her, it will not end well for you. Come down here. This is special. Patricia. This is Regis' own Saint Seal. It may look intense, but she does. Uh, it may look intense, but it, she dotes on it regularly. And the ribbon it wears was a gift from her. It, and it even has its own pen in Gerudo Town. It's far more agile than any other Saint Seal and far more outgoing. 
an ever reliable partner to Riju, Patricia is always ready to take off through the desert at a moment's notice. Savak. Are you a traveler? Ooh. Sitting here in the chief's favorite Saint Seal. Uh, sitting here is the chief's favorite Saint Seal, Patricia. But she's no ordinary Saint Seal. She's actually something of an oracle. If you offer fruit to Patricia by placing it before her, you receive some words of wisdom in return. I used to see the chief around here every day, but she's been so busy lately, lately I don't think she's allowed herself even a moment to relax. Such responsibility at such a young age. Anyway, I make sure to care for Patricia so that she'll be ready at a moment's notice for the, from the chief. Oh. I apologize. I'm going on and on and on. If you like some words of wisdom, just offer Patricia some fruit. Oh. Okay, same thing. Saint Seals can be knocked out by the sound of explosion. I'm s silly, serious. <laughs> that was a close one. She tries to slip a seal pun in there. <sighs> Thank you for your wisdom, kind Patricia. I'm very, very grateful. St. Seuss can be knocked out, it's the same thing? <sighs> Is it completely random or she just doesn't have anything else to say at the moment? Oh. Uh, seal the deal on your fortune by using more valuable fruit. Oh, yeah, there was no avoiding that bump. But Okay, so let's give you another fruit. Okay, so it's based on the fruit that she gives me different devices. Since it's the same thing. Okay, let's try something actually more valuable. This, I think, works. Yeah, I think this is the same thing as an apple. This one, I know, has some mighty effects, so it should be bad. It should give me something else. Oh. Ah, the southern desert is searing hot during the day. Bring gear made for it. I spray you the painful seal pun. Think for words visa, okay. And same thing. This one has cooling effects. So damn. This is a more... Okay, let's see if another banana... Apparently bananas are more valuable. But it will be the same thing about the desert. Come on, it's too slow. Same boots for desert. Same aim snow boots for serious snowfall. It's pretty the painful. Seal pun. Ooh. 
same thing. Okay, I think it's completely random then it didn't matter. The sheets like anything are just fruits. Okay, she doesn't care about shrooms. Permission to enter the sheep's bedroom. Who are you? Same thing. Oh. One. Oh. It must be pretty special to have gotten permission from the chief. Oh, hang on, let's see if Barda is here because I know she gets lost in the desert afterwards. She's in here yet. And there is a bridge. Same thing. Mm. But hasn't turned me this. Oh, so, so she left there, but she hasn't come here yet. Well, now I'm here, so. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I'm only taking Mr. Shai's class as a kind of refresher course, but I still have to study. Savak. Savak. What do you think of my lipstick? I think he'll bring me good luck. You know that the color is especially important in bringing good luck, right? Color, how? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm planning on learning about that next. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I go for the second one? It looks good on you. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I can feel you working already. Ooh. I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> really, I swear I wasn't sleeping. I've always dreamed of going out in the wild world, living a life of adventure. And then settling down with my true love. We'd have a wonderful little Vevi and live happily ever after. I'm sure of it. But these lessons are critical if I want to pull all that off. So I can afford to sleep through them. <laughs> oh. Would you be interested in my class or interaction with Vo in the world outside this town? Observe. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, let's show our cute observer while we've been learning in class. Now then, you're walking down the street on your way somewhere, and a handsome Vo you've never met approaches. Oh, I would wave casually to him, but I also keep myself prepared in case he's a distraction for a bandit ambush. <laughs> Excellent thinking, Pasha. That's a prudent approach to a new situation. Uh, remember that sometimes Vo may look suspicious, but are just being wary due to the sight of a daunting Gerudo. Oh. I would enthusiastically greet him, approaching with a smile and with my hands clearly empty. Oh. Wow, Dina, that mm, would it be Dina instead of Dina. And that's a very optimistic approach to take. Oh. Uh, being overly friendly is an excellent way to put a stranger's mind at ease. Overly friendly, it might be weird. Oh, I will walk casually towards him and then strike first blow when he least suspected. Mm. Riza, that would be a crime. Mm. Oh, it's you. Did you want to observe the Vowie new class? Observe. <laughs> Tension everyone, let's get started. You can show this cute pie while we been learning in class. Now then, in your travels, you, you come upon an injured vole lying on the ground. What do you do? Oh, I immediately lift him over my shoulder and carry him to the nearest person who can treat him. 
that's a very proactive answer, Pasha. Always be aware that an injured person may have non visible injuries before you move them. Oh, I would determine what was the matter and make a medicine on the spot to treat him. Ma. Great answer, Dina. Dina. I don't know. Uh, just be careful that the vault doesn't have some sort of allergy to the ingredients in your medicine. Oh, I would secretly bring him back to my home where I could help him gradually recover. Mm -hmm. Reza, that's sweet, a sweet sentiment, but also basically kidnapping. Do you okay? Mm -hmm. Asia, let's get started. It's the same thing. Now then, you're suddenly approached by a vow whose attention you've sought, and he abruptly engages you in conversation. Um, I will pretend that I don't know how to speak his language. <laughs> That's an interesting approach, Pasha. You could inspire some curiosity in the vow by doing that. Remember, it isn't unrealistic that the vow may actually speak the language you pretend to know, too. Huh? Wait, is she going to speak, not speak his language or pretend to speak? Um, I make belief language. I would take up take the up close opportunity to determine his social standing based on his on the clothes he's wearing. Ma. Good thinking, Dina. Just remember that sometimes all of someone's good clothes are dirty, so they might wear something more casual. Oh, I will grab his hand and twist his wrist until he agrees to marry me. Mm. Oh, will you? Alright, so let's talk after class. I think that was the last one. Mm. Two, let's observe, observe, attention from. Now then, you're suddenly approached by a voice. Okay, it's the same thing. And she's the one that is just taking a refresher curse. She, yeah, she doesn't. She didn't really need to be here. Let's have a look here. Chief's diary. A diary of Makila Riju. I don't remember it was Makila. So, well, hang on. So either Makila or Riju is her family name. Uh, no, maybe she has two names and and she used both when writing. Yeah. Uh, first page. Uh, Buliara told me today that mother has passed on and gone to a better place. She said that my mother's death means I'm now I am now the chief of the Gerudo people. I wish she'd stay here though. I don't see how it can be a better place with us apart. Ever since I became the chief, the people in town have been a lot nicer to me. But if I look carefully, I can still see the worry in their eyes. It seems more common than when mother was the chief. Mother, will I ever be as great a chief as you were? The divine beast Vanaboris, which supposedly has been sleeping in the desert, has suddenly woken up. Mother once told me that Naboris is the deity of protection for the Gerudo people, but it doesn't seem that way. I plan to investigate tomorrow, I have to find out more. Having investigated Divine Beast Vanaboris, I can say that if it came to Gerudo town, we'd be helpless. 
When I drew close to it, using my wonderful Saint Seal Patricia, I was driven back by a sandstorm in lightning. I turned Patricia toward home, but a monster spooked her and she fled towards Naboris again. The next thing I remember is Puliara standing over me, her face full of worry. Ever since I went to investigate the Divine Beast, Bulliara has made a point of never leaving my side. Even now, with such a valuable heirloom stolen by thieves, she refused to tear herself away from me for even a moment. She takes all the blame for the theft. However, nothing can, be, can change her mind about, the, about being responsible. Meanwhile, I can't help but feel that the theft happened because I am not yet ready to be chief. The soldiers search tirelessly, trying to recover the heirloom. No, no one says a word about my leadership. But they must be thinking about how powerless their chief has, been, has proven to be. Thanks to the tireless efforts of my soldiers, we've located the chief's hideout. They definitely aren't common criminals, so they, we haven't been able to get anywhere close to the place. To think that the Thunderhelm is right there, yet we can't take it back. Mother, little boss, please give me your guidance. Okay. So she... I think she'll probably mention add something about Link afterwards. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needn't say a word. As chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. Hmm. The people look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes. But even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief and to prove to myself that I was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, yeah, your arrival in the midst of all this must must be the work of later Bossa. Now, please, give me the helm. Uh, how do I look? You certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. 
or Abusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matter what matters now is <laughs> how is it? Do I look alright? It looks good. I see. The stretch the vine beast vulnerable poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe the the Gerudo town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief and as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Of course. <laughs> Who would have thought that, just before such a momentous battle, hearing a simple, confident pledge of support from you will be what puts me at ease. Uh, I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the lookout post south of town. There's only one way to get close to Naboris, and that's with the help of a sand seal. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in the way. In that way, uh, I'll be there waiting for you with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. Still, it really is a little big. Oh yes, the other, the other divine beasts. I, I bought them with proper clothes. I cannot upgrade this one, so I must go here. I haven't entered this street yet. I think this is just a house. Uh, what is it? I prefer to rest and relax until night. Okay. I think her daughter is taking classes now. But here is where I need to enter. Oh. What's the best search? Oh. And what comes next? Mm -hmm. And then after that? Yeah. And what comes last? Go drink milk in the bar or something. <laughs> okay. Ah, the, I didn't remember the quest could start here. She changed shops. Mm. The accessories here are sure are pretty, but I don't have any of the materials to trade, and buy one outright would be too, so expensive. I guess it, it's just not time for me to own one. Someone. Savak. Savak. <gasps> A husband first votes. Oh, okay, is she? <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll get it afterwards. When they got her hands free. Savak. Savak. Uh -huh. What is it? I feel like I've met you before. I don't recall having any Highland acquaintances. Okay, she isn't old enough to have no link. And she doesn't know any Highland. Uh, especially since I've only ever served here in the palace. I've never even set foot behind the town's walls. I thought I could relax a less now that Puliara has come of age, but of course things can be ah. easy. With the Divine Beast raging around and thieves breaking into town. I'm retired now though, so there isn't a lot I can do unfortunately. Oh. Apparently the Tender Helm has been returned to us, thank goodness for that. But don't break out the glasses of Noble Pursuit yet, it wasn't even Gerud Soldier who did it. It was some outsider out here. What were the soldiers doing while this outsider was demonstrating such skill? When I was on active duty, this avalanche of failures would be unthinkable. Williara needs to get back out on the front lines where she belongs. What happened? Oh. A little while ago, 
The saint saw that the chief was with, got spooked by a monster and went off. She quickly realized that it had pulled her very close to Naboris. Anyone who approaches Naboris risks being struck by lightning from the, the divine beast. The chief was lucky to get it, was lucky to get away, and ever since then Bulliara has refused to leave her side. I hope that I never have to witness such turmoil ever again. Okay, same thing. Goodbye. Ah, oh, she's here already. Fuck. What's up, I'm from outside town doing in a place like this? What are you doing? I'm still keeping it a secret from Mama, but I'm growing a fruit garden here. Then I can eat all the fruit I want until my tummy gets filled right up. I haven't fi figured out what I want to plant here yet, though. If I grow a lot, I'll share some of it with you, okay? Uh, but there's trash here already. And that shouldn't really be trash. That should be good for the plants. No open thing. Oh, are you a Hylion Vi? We don't see too many of you. I can't tell how old you are, but you look a little young to be coming to my shop. You see, we mix special drinks here. Drinks that are definitely just for adults. Special drinks? Well, a big part of the drink is the ice we use from the ice house. It makes them especially refreshing. Well, of you're a little young to be here, don't you think? Recommendations. Mm. Our featured cocktail is called Noble Pursuit. Many of our customers come here especially to order it. The light, sweet taste, the cool sensation from each sip. Uh, it's like drinking distilled motivation. You're a little too young. How about milk? Milk? We don't carry anything as childish as milk here. Did Greta tell you to come here and ask that? Oh, Greta is the one... Uh, the Star Cleric is just playing a prank on you. Mm -hmm. Good grief. Doesn't she have anything better to do with her time? <laughs> She's always been so sec secretive about her shop. But hiding something just makes young people more interested. Mm -hmm. uh, that reminds me. I haven't seen Pokey around lately. She used to come here every day to drink a double pursuit too. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even telling you this. Stupid vol. Who needs that? Can I? Damn. I don't know if. The audio on the stream gets delayed, but my audio here gets delayed. But once I download the video to to edit to put on YouTube, the audio is fine. <laughs> oh, I was going to tell you, I finally got my hands on the password for you know where. Mm. Seriously, wow, that place is a little crazy, isn't it? Maybe, but I'm really interested. <laughs> anyway, the password is... Uh, Wait a second. Huh? You, did you really think we wouldn't see you standing there, listening to our conversation? So rude. This is a private conversation. Go away. Oh, if it was late, the kid that lives here would tell me uh, that they can, she can hear them talking. The whole night. What was up with that little high on Vi early anyway? Oh. Forget her. Just hurry up and tell us the password. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, that's right. The password is GSC Diamond. If she was saying, what she say? Diamond at the end? Uh, I overheard Sala talking about it. Uh, so I'm sure that's right. Uh, GSC Diamond, oh, what could that? Oh, I get it. Gerudo Secret Club, GSS. GSC. Uh, but 
What is the time already in means? Mm. Uh, who knows? I mean, is it supposed to be a diamond? Because the other options weren't uh, cards. Mm. I think there was an exclamation mark there. Uh, I was over there the whole time. I thought it's strange that the sandstorms, sandstorm over there never lifted. Mm. Hmm. And what is a hiding of like yourself doing here? What are you doing? Ah. I'm an archaeologist of sorts. I was just poring over some ancient texts that I discovered the other day. <laughs> and I finally decoded it. Well, part of it at least. But the rest is not far off. With this discovery, I will finally be able to make a name for myself as an archaeologist. Eh? Of course. You and I meeting here is no coincidence. I've never been one to question fate. I can't explain why, but I trust you for some reason. I'll tell you the details of my research if you can keep a secret. My lips are sealed. Mm. There's a temple east of here, near the entrance to the Gerudo Desert. It's dedicated to the seven giant statues of the Hurins, said to be the divine protectors of the Gerudo. It was at this temple that I originally discovered uh, the ancient scripture. It reads, when the symbols of the seven find their place, the blessed path will be revealed. That's all I've been able to decipher so far. It's believed that people once came from around the world in search of the hearing's blessing. Mm. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't appear that anyone has found it yet. Blessing. Mm. I'm not sure what exactly it means, but maybe I'll find out once I've deciphered more of the text. I'm not sure if it's related, but it said the hearings have held powers that were part of a bigger whole. Each hearing had a different power, skill, spirit, endurance, knowledge, flight, motion, and gentleness. But they all look the same to me. <laughs> I should understand the entire script before long, but that's only the beginning of my problems. Uh. The Divine Beast has been moving around the area, making it harder for me to conduct my research. Okay, so I'll also complete this after the Divine Beast. Uh, that thing has no respect for academia. Oh, I just remember. How long has it been since I checked those lines? I'll just check them. Uh, and I didn't pay attention if I was I went to the right place. Damn, if they are Y men, I'm good. If they are Y men, if they are silver linos, then it's good. Silver lines have black manes. I think. Damn, it has been so long since I checked it. I should have came as soon as I bought that savage, that one that had savage weapons up north in Hebrew. Damn. If I. If I miss it, I won't be able to get the crusher without seeming. I think I came he back here to check once I found the first um, golden book goblin. I think I came. 
but they didn't they hadn't level up yet. Damn, it's a silver already. Because those are the lowest levels I can fight. It's a uh, spear. Yeah, he's wearing like one of that. No. Yeah, he has too many things there. Oh, whoa! Okay, yeah, I lost the crusher. I'm gonna have to buy it after getting everything else from Simming. Damn. Uh, let's return there. I completely forgot about that. The voice. I recognized you from earlier. If you get her. If you get our password wrong, you have to wait until the next day to try again. It's just basic security. We can't let any suspicious characters in here. Damn. They didn't know that. Ah, the girls are all here now. Ah, there's some things here that they were playing all around. Hey you guys, are you in love? When I, I'll grow up, I'll be... I'll go to Mrs. Shai's class, and I'll become in love, and I'll get married. Mom says it's really strange that Mrs. Shai is unmarried but teaches her class on vogue. I wonder what unmarried means. I heard that being in love and being married is the sweetest thing in the world. But I really like berries, and... Those are really sweet. I don't know if I can handle something sweeter than that. Good morning. Maybe a diamond, but uh, those aren't cards. Oh. All right, you can come in. Oh, uh, maybe that's like uh, supposed to be a rupee or something. Oh. Hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. Uh, looks like we got ourselves a rare visitor. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't ask too many questions and I won't either. You're a member here now, uh, so thanks for your patronage. Saba, Saba. Saba? Elsewhere it might be Savota or Savak, 
but here it's always half Saba. What's this place? Oh. This is the Gerudo Secret Club, or GSC for short. This is the only shop in Gerudo Town where someone could buy clothes made for a vote to wear. Despite it being illegal to sell vote clothing in this town, there is a high demand for such things. <laughs> I've never seen a vote disguise himself as a buy like you have. So, we each have something to hide, I suppose. Let's ignore that and move on to business. Um, oh. going. Have you ever noticed how the darker it is, the more beautiful the light becomes? Isn't it great, young Vo? Or uh, young Vi? Darker. Uh, yeah, a dim light is better looking than a bright light. Okay. Desert Bowl Trousers Gerudo made trousers for men sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. Sapphire is used in their creation, which harness the power of ice to make the heat more tolerable. Saxo, I recommend pairing it with other clothing items from the series. Desert Bowl Spalder Armor for mail sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. It contains a fire which harness the power of ice. Should I say anything? That's the. Oh! Oh! Gerudo retailers contains a fire, a gem that harness power of ice. Should we make it add? It's kind of the same thing. Desert Vow handbanged. <laughs> Sucks, so make sure to restock for you. No need, job. I don't need two sets of it. Oh! oh. That's a special one, made using luminous stones. If you are interested, you need to trade me the material. materials. Oh, and there's a handling fee too. Uh, okay, I can probably buy that. 800, 800, 800. Oh. Uh, the bright light does, of the sun doesn't agree with me. I haven't paid my respects to it for many years. Buy from me. Oh. Suppose I could, but I won't be paying more than any other trader would. So I'd like to pick up something rare if you got anything like that. Mm. Wow, I got plenty. Let's start with some of those. I yeah, let's sell more. I got so many here. <laughs> uh, okay, I bought ten of those. Each lot okay, same here. Okay. Oh. Radiant Mask. A special mask for members of the Gerudo Secret Club. Painted with dye made from crushed luminous stones. It gives off a lurid, mysterious glow in the dark. <laughs> so so make sure to stop. Oh. Radiant Church. Sure, so the Gerudo Secret Club it glows a strange pattern in the dark due to a dye made from crushed luminous stones. <laughs> oh. Red and tights. These tights are so in the Gerudo, in the Gerudo Secret Club. They are painted with dye crush from crushed luminous stones, which gives them an eerie glow in the dark. <laughs> Sucks so. Uh, I think I can. Change clothes inside here. Uh, that should call me a little oh. vibe. Oh. Pick up clubs on shop of awards by Leo Chisawo. <laughs> and there's seeing. Okay, she's mentioning because. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, he acts like as if she discovered him, even if he isn't dressed anymore. Oh. Time to go visit? I'm not surprised. You've bought everything I have. Yeah, so inside we can... Oh. 
Salar. Lavo has been detected. Capture him at once. Let's upgrade this squad a bit. And then I'll go to Regio and the Divine Beast. You again. How many times must I tell you? Vo are not allowing thin the, the town walls. You understand that you are Vo, right? Do not return. Uh, which one is... I think this one is the, the fastest one to get you. Just jump from the tower. This is a good weapon. Vanabor is when we move south. I know for sure I didn't came here, but I know for sure that this area is under storm when you just arrive at the desert. On top of that platform, you can get zapped when Naboris gets close. And the guard over there in the wall said that this place was still safe, the lightning would strike you here. But now I can't prove. A golden bowl. I can't carry it. I... Ooh. I'm shocked, despite the, what the chief said. I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. Come on. But the chief must have her reasons for believing you can fight the divine beast. She's waiting for you at the top of the... Look up post. Hurry up. Oh, I can read the books. Uh, I just want to. Oh, it's breaking. It's okay. Look at that. Uh, I don't have a Gerudo shoes. Well, I have. Okay, I'm going for Gerudo. 